Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see, it's really cold. Uh, it's in the mid thirties. I think it's about 35, 36 degrees right now. And what I'm fishing here, you see behind me, there's a warm water discharge right there. So that water, as you can see all that steam coming out, it's a lot warmer than the water here along this little discharge, this area here, and actually leading over to the main creek down there. So um, I'm about a quarter mile south of the uh, spillway that I normally fish. And I decided to come out here today. I was actually going, doing some shopping in a local area. I had my fishing gear with me and I figured if I'm already out here, let me go ahead and get a line wet. I've had one bite so far. I've been here about 10 minutes um, and had a crappie on and wasn't able to land him. Got him up to the shoreline and then he popped, came off the hook. Um, very, very difficult conditions to fish because the water, even though it's a warm water discharge, the fish are going to be acting like cold, like they would in cold water. So it's going to be a little, little, little more lethargic, closer to the bottom. So I've got to kind of slowly drag my baits right along the bottom. So what I'm fishing with today, just a really tiny um, curly trail jig. Um, nothing fancy. I have a few other uh, swim bodies and stuff in my bag. But we'll, uh, we'll see what's biting here. And if nothing um, bites here for much longer, I'll head up the, uh, the creek over to the uh, spillway and see what's going on up there. With all the rain we've had here recently, the water's really high. I'd imagine the water coming through that spillway is really flowing. And I really don't have very many heavy jigs. I think the heaviest I have is maybe an eighth of an ounce. And it might not be heavy enough to get anything down in the water column. But um, we'll see how we do. Thank you guys for tuning in. All right, so I'm fishing right under that, that uh, discharge there. Caught this nice bluegill here. See how he's all dark. Um, probably because of the cold water touching him. He's not cold, cold. So I could tell that the water temperature here is a little bit warmer up here as you get close to that wa warm water discharge, which obviously makes sense, right? But uh, anyway, we got the skunk off, but that was a good sized fish. All right, here's actually the third fish. The second one I couldn't get on camera. He flipped off and fell into the water, but a um, little bit more brightly lit up. A little smaller than the first one, but all in that same little hole. The water's coming out right there. There's the eddy right over there. There's a bunch of rocks. They're right in there along those rocks, just sitting in there in that warm water. All right, first little crappie of the day. You can see my jig in there. Um, I ended up losing that yellow body, so I went with the chartreuse head with the white curly tail. White curly tail catches fish in fresh salt water, you name it, lakes, rivers, ponds, doesn't matter. Um, so it's one of my favorite versatile lures. So a little tiny crappie. I already lost two crappie that were larger than this. Uh, can't get them out of the water, their lips. There are so thin that it just a hook ripped loose, but no big deal. I'm getting bites. That was two casts in a row. I got a bite. So uh, we'll just keep on fishing here. All right. So there's a slightly better quality fish right there. He's ugh, probably a good, I don't know, 10, 11 inches. Not a monster, but considering the conditions, not bad very very cold and i caught him on the main creek over here just in this little eddy right over here but touching his body is considerably colder than the body of the other fish i've been catching another really nice crappy big fat boy here well probably a girl full of eggs but very very cold body so uh found myself a little bit of a pattern here just this eddy right along the main body of water here they're all just kind of facing upstream I'm just bringing, casting my jig upstream and slowly rolling it back. Just enough to get the paddle tail kind of, the little curly tail working a little bit. And just feel for that light thunk. And uh, you see she inhaled it. All right. Decent sized crappie. This one's about average size. So you see I'm using my, my favorite plastic little speed shad. Um, I actually caught another crappie about this size a little while ago, but I didn't get him on camera. I just not gonna get all of them on camera but anyway there he is a little bit of background back there actually caught him right at the edge there where the brown water and the dark water meet so i think he's just sitting there in that brown water waiting for anything to kind of get washed down towards him all right another guy about average again right on the edge 
I went ahead and walked from, that's where I caught that last one. I was standing there. I just went ahead and came over to this point right here where the, the brown water and the dark water meet, right on the edge there. All right, got another little crappy. I don't know what happened right there. Something took a bite out of him when he was younger. And that's, that's not looking too good. Anyway, he's about an average size. Decent fish. Actually caught him in the warm water. So they're all up and down through here. The water's, the, the, it's getting darker and darker. Um, so they're sight feeders, so they're gonna be most active right now. And then they're gonna start shutting down here in the next half hour or so. Okay, I definitely got a uh, pattern work in here. Like I said, just next, I just got that last one about five minutes ago. They're, the, they're starting to get really active right now since the sun's starting to go down. And another one. Another really healthy crappie right there. Been eating good. Nice size fish. Got some shoulders on him. Got a good fish. He's probably, if I had to guess, he's about a foot long. Good fish. It's really starting to rain now. You guys can see that. And it's getting darker. Probably gonna fish another 15 minutes and then head out of here. Time to head out of here. Uh, not bad for a couple hours of fishing. I didn't bring my GoPro with me. That's why everything's kind of so spotty because I did everything with uh, with my phone. But um, considering the conditions, it's rainy. It's really, really cold. Um, I came to a spot where I knew it would produce. So let me get clue you guys in on what the pattern was. It's colder, temp colder temperatures, you want to slow down. Fish are cold-blooded. Uh, we all learned that in elementary school. So cold-blooded means that they're not going to be very um, active. And when the, when the water temperature drops like this, so they're gonna be on the bottom because the water temperature is gonna be more stable at the bottom. It's not gonna fluctuate as much. They're gonna be in deeper holes, um, areas like this where this water discharge is coming out over here. You got some warm water coming out right there. So they're gonna try and stack up in places like that where it just gives them a little bit of an advantage over their prey. So what I was doing today, I was throwing my little, mostly um, a one 16th ounce jig head. Um, caught most of the fish with my speed shad, but I did catch a few on curly tails. Uh, just throwing it out and just reeling it, just keep it just barely off the bottom. I kind of feel it bumping the bottom. Uh, you're gonna get snagged doing that. Uh, that's part of fishing, but obviously um, you'll be successful. So anyway, hope you guys learned a little something. It was just a little fun little two hour trip. I decided I was in the area, had a fishing gear with me. Um, might as well go ahead and get a line wet. So catch you guys on the next fishing adventure.